Welcome to the last video. Ever. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the last video in my Jersey Collection videos. And honestly, um, I'm so proud that, that, that it's, it's as long of a, a, a video series as it is. And that this channel has provided me with an opportunity to, to build a collection such as this that I can share with people and that I can... Now, I, I don't mean that you can come over and take whatever you... That's not what I mean. That's not that's not how I mean that. What I mean is that I can I can share um, my opinions on these and we can look at jerseys through the years and, and, and grade this like this. Now, it's going to get complicated because I have a jersey coming in in September, which is a Cleveland Barons, but it's not made by any NHL-recognized um, company. So it's made by one of those third parties that does pretty nice jerseys. Their rankings are really nice, and I'm going to see how it goes. They're not cheap either. So does the Cleveland Barons end up in next year's countdown? Do I have that sliding scale where I say if they're really well made and it's not just a cheap Chinese knockoff, can they go into the countdown? Who knows? Uh, the jersey I'm currently wearing, this is, of course, a Campbell Conference uh, Doug Wilson jersey. Um Despite the perception that I, I hate everything Chicago, the reality is I love Doug Wilson when he played for the Hawks. I was also a big Eddie the Eagle fan in the early 90s and loved JR uh, when he first joined the league. So that perception's out there and I get it, but it's it's not really there. Um, but anyways, you know, there's that. And uh, this one I got through, of course, Ben H. Sports. And I enjoy it because Campbell and Prince of Wales, those were just... Those are the all-star games that I remember as a kid and really enjoyed. And the reality is, um, they, the all-star game's never been any good. The actual game itself, it's always been kind of a game of shinny. So, uh, really, in all honesty, it was just the jerseys and who goes is really all that's ever really mattered with the all-star game. But let's get into the top 20 and uh, look at which ones won out this year. Number 20. I got this one through uh, Full Moon Jerseys, and I am still absolutely blown away that I got it. This is an authentic. This is a Reebok authentic, uh, not a replica or a premier. This is the real deal. Uh, Heart Atlanta Thrashers. I love this jersey so much. That's why I very rarely, if ever, wear it, because I want this to be in mint condition uh, for as long as I'm around and until I'm long after I'm gone. Um, just gorgeous. And this was one of the ugliest jerseys, according to the Hockey News and the Jersey Jersey Magazine I have. They had the top 10 ugliest jerseys, and this was on the list. And I remember thinking, not, though. It's just, you know, it was different. It was really, really different than anything else. And so they went, eh, that's ugly because it's different. I love this jersey. Also on that top 10 ugly list was this fantasticness. Now a subscriber sent this to me. I don't want to know what he had to do to get it. I don't. These are expensive. I, I believe Jersey Baron still has them. At least a couple of them. They're they're expensive. Uh, this of course is the infamous Burger King jersey. Wayne Gretzky wore this. Uh, and it's it's just fantastic. It's, it's so just everything about it screams the mid 90s when all of the color fading was the end thing to do. I wouldn't mind seeing this as a third. I know, I know, it, it won't happen. Uh, this kind of ugliness can't be repeated. And somebody somewhere designed this, and then somebody somewhere as well looked at it and went, that's pretty sharp. We think Wayne Gretzky should wear this. The greatest player of all time should wear this jersey. And uh, there's, there's pictures of him wearing this jersey. He looks like he's in pain in a lot of the pictures. And I'm thinking it is pain that he'd see a reflection in the glass and see this it's just it's so ugly it's it's fantastic it's one of my favorites and that's a big part of the reason why number 18 it's fantastic isn't it this is one of those jerseys i can't find in my size this is an xl i swim in it i got this one through i believe it was through full moon jerseys could because dubinsky had been traded but uh, I, I can't find it in anything smaller than, a, than an extra large. Not without paying an arm and a leg. And that's not my intention here. The, the beautiful, everything's beautiful with this jersey. The cream color, uh, the, the chain stitching, the velvet. Everything comes together on this, which is an absolutely fantastic jersey. January 2nd, 2012, right here. 
Just, I, I love this shirt so much. And it shows that the New York Rangers could make absolutely fantastic looking jerseys. I think they stick with the ones that they wear for their home and away for tradition's sake. But man, you could make some really nice looking Rangers jerseys that could make people forget tradition pretty darn quick. Number 17. I was torn on this. said to myself, Shannon, are you going to have more than one of the green whalers on the countdown because they're very similar and the answer had to be yes because this is different than the other whalers jersey um I, I i enjoy this one very much very very happy with it it's a size 52 because they didn't have it in a 46 when it came out i had to get a 52 which again is kind of large for me uh a 52 is a large a 50 is a medium 46 is a small i'd love to wear 46 in all of them Except that the first year they came out, the 46s had tiny little logos. The 50s did not, so I had to go with 50s. This one's a 52 because I couldn't get it smaller than that. Not at that stage, and I had to tell Ben, so yeah, I'll just take the 52 then. Because he asked me, he said, do you want me to wait until I get a 46? And I said, nah. Now you've got the Hurricanes Storm Flags back here in blue. Uh, really sharp jersey, and I get why people don't like Carolina using Hartford jerseys, but it's been over 20 years since the Whalers left, and they're not coming back. So I'm, I'm glad that in some way the Whalers jerseys are being enjoyed by another generation. Number 16. I got this one through, uh, this was through Cool Hockey. So they got the 25 year patch. It was funny because they had a sale, but the sale only kicked in if your, if your purchase was over $200. So you get 40% off over $200. Well, it's $199 for a jersey, Canadian, on their site. So I was like, all right, well, if it's $199, I'm not going to get any sale. Uh, if I pay 20 bucks to put this on it, I save $40. So it was cheaper for me to get it with the patch than it would have been just to get the regular jersey. And I, I got to say, jersey patches are my new newfound passion when it comes to jerseys because it makes them different. It makes them uh, sort of pop a little bit, which means the NHL is going to come forward and go, see, he's advocating for advertising. Because he's saying a little bit extra color in a jersey never hurt anything. That's not what I'm saying at all. Uh, and I'm stunned the NHL will try to tell me I was saying that. But uh, this Dallas's uh, rebrand has been fantastic. It really has. And while I still love the old Stars jerseys and they're all really nice, this is absolutely wonderful. And this this was the first time that a Dallas logo and, and design came out that was uniquely Dallas. There wasn't any kind of a holdover from the Minnesota North Stars at all. This was uniquely Dallas with this rebrand, and it's it's really, really sharp. So, thumbs up to them for that one. Number 15, a little bit of a story with this too. So, this is a Sharks Black Third. This is a Reebok, and it's an authentic, and I got this one through Full Moon Jerseys. I'm pretty sure I got the last one. Um, I forgot. I forgot. San Jose also had a Black Third jersey before this with the original logo, until I was browsing around eBay the other day and I went, oh, holy crap, I forgot. And history videos as well were helping to remind me because I'm looking through uh, old yearbooks and I'm like, oh, right, yeah. So the combination means uh, I've got another black San Jose that's on the way into my collection. Uh, this one is fantastic. For some reason, the Sharks works on a black background even though the logo is primarily black. I don't know what it is, and I know there's Sharks fans that roll their eyes and go, oh, we're going with another black jersey. Cool. Can we get a third in another color? Maybe at some point, but for now, the black ones absolutely work. Uh, love the SJ on the shoulders. And despite the lack of, of, of stripes here, doesn't matter. It's just absolutely gorgeous, fantastic jersey. The fact it's an authentic doesn't hurt either because it's a nice, thick material. And it's just, it's it's really, really sharp. San Jose usually, almost always has fantastic. I'm saying usually, almost always, because I'm trying to think, like, there's probably an ugly one somewhere I'm not thinking of. But for the most part, their jerseys are absolutely awesome. This is pretty universally recognized as the greatest. Yeah, I know, it's the Adidas neck. People don't like it. I don't care. Uh, it's number 14 on my countdown, and, and it is gorgeous. I cannot deny. Notice I have this above everything Vancouver, everything Boston. I have it above everything Ottawa. So this isn't a like or dislike thing. This is just Chicago is a really, really nice jersey. I uh, love the chain stitching on the logo. 
The one thing is, if you get an Adidas, you get an Authentic, you get the chain stitch logo, this stitching, it frays really easy. So I don't wear this jersey very often because I want to make sure that it stays as mint as possible. Which means that while I have an old Reebok that sits around and I don't bother with it, I may very well wear that just for general wear and, and leave this one alone because, again, you get little frays in it. So again, if you get an Adidas, they're nice, but you, you do get little frays here and there in it. It's kind of heartbreaking because I realize uh, I will likely have to replace this. I'm not going to say in the next five years, but at some point I would say in maybe 10, I could see myself needing to replace it due to fraying. Uh, but it, that's why I don't wear it very often. And this one I got through Ben H Sports, and I know uh, they're changing the... This is supposed to be red right up till here. So they're getting rid of the white here to get rid of the how it looks like a, a clerical collar. So they're trying to get rid of that, which is fine. But again, for me, that's not a deal breaker. I think the rest of the jersey is so sharp. There's chain stitching in the C's here as well. Fantastic, fantastic jersey. And that's why it's in the top 20. Number 13. Yeah, I know. Um, the difference is you got the whales on the sleeves and you've got a different neckline. Uh, the striping is, is I prefer the striping on this neck and the whale. That's how you know it's from 1980. They didn't keep the whale for very long. I don't know why. Uh, I think the whale was fun. Uh, I think that on whalers jerseys, you got to have the whale on there. You just, you just do. I, that's how I feel about it and it might be controversial, but I'm going to put my foot down on it and say, yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, Hartford whalers is always fantastic. Uh, this one I got through... Was it Hockey Jersey Outlet? I think it was Hockey Jersey Outlet on eBay. Pretty sure on that one. But again, these are tough to find. This is a CCM Vintage Throwback. And uh, yeah, it's really, really sharp. I know, it's very, very similar to the Adidas. I showed you guys a few before this. But the whales, the different neckline, to me that makes them just different enough that I wanted to have both in the countdown and that's why. So if you're in, in the market for them, I'm showing you guys the differences between the two. Number 12, uh, this is the King's Black Crown Jersey. Uh, it's got, of course, the, the coat of arms on the sleeve. Absolutely fantastic. You're gonna see a lot of Kings in the top 20. Just throwing out that warning right now. A lot of California in the top 20. Uh, and if there was a Mighty Wing Jersey in this collection, it might have made the top 20 as well because there's nothing uglier and more fantastic at the same time than that. But this, this is absolutely gorgeous. I remember when they changed to this, I went, all right. And then they changed to their current logo and design, and I went, oh, that's too bad. Because the, the purple and the black look so sharp, along with the silver in it. Absolutely amazing. You can do without the Los Angeles at the bottom. You can totally eliminate the Los Angeles at the bottom, and some jerseys you find will have it and some won't. Uh, I don't find that it's a deal breaker with or without. Uh, I actually saw a listing for one that had it without the Los Angeles at the bottom, and I thought, you know, I could get that one, and then I thought, okay, now now you're out of control, and I put myself to bed. Uh, this one here I got through an eBay seller out of Seattle. It was the only jersey that he'd ever sold that I could find in his listings, and it's just one of those lucky things where it's a guy who probably runs a thrift store, and somebody found in their attic, and went, I'm never going to wear this again. I'll just give this to the thrift store. That still happens. And for that, I'm grateful. Number 11. Yeah, it's another Sharks black jersey. What are you going to do? This is, of course, the Stealth, which people didn't like because everything's teal or black. So they took the color out of it. Again, I think some of what the NHL is doing right now is they're kind of testing to see how well these are going to sell. Looking at what the NFL's done with Color Rush, and I could see the NHL doing something very similar to that with jerseys with thirds. I'm waiting for the year that they say, all right, all the thirds are going to look color rush. The Oilers one that's been leaked looks very color rush like as well. So when people get like, oh, that's ugly. Color rush. Uh, on this, on in here it says this is Sharks territory. Of course, uh, this is Nashville country, so I have to watch it. Um, that's an old meme from the channel from years ago. Uh, but this is Sharks territory. Fun in the neckline. I like the throwback to the classic uh, secondary on the sleeve here. And it means that next year when I do this countdown, you're probably going to have three black Sharks jerseys in the top 40. I would say top 20, but I, I don't want to necessarily go out on a limb and say that. I'd say probably top 40. 
I don't know. Again, Sharks just works in a black jersey. And, of course, I got this through Ben H Sports. Number 10. And no, I do not have the CCM in the countdown. I just have the Adidas of this one. So before people panic, don't worry. It's just, just the Adidas. Number 10 is the Arizona Kachina. The only thing that throws me off with this is, I'm pretty sure this is the one where the NHL logo on the front has been glued kind of askew. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough that it, it, it kind of drives me crazy. It's not quite upright. Uh, I got this one through Ben H Sports. Uh, of course, it's a size 46 because third jerseys size 46 is just fine. The logos aren't smaller. And of course, no button because it's this year's third jersey. Um, Arizona, you know, if you go back to these jerseys, nobody would blame you. If you didn't, I wouldn't really blame you there either. Uh, I like the jerseys a lot. I think they work better as a, a specialty, as a third jersey, as sort of a throwback. It's sort of like the Canuck skate jersey. Um, yeah, it's nice to see it once in a while and, and get those warm and fuzzies about how the team used to look. But, you know, the current look isn't bad. And Arizona's one, too, that their current jersey and look isn't bad. As sharp as this is, I think the, the novelty would wear off after, I would say, year two. And we'd start seeing a move away from just how busy and how crazy this thing looks. This was considered one of the ugliest jerseys in the league when it debuted. And, you know, to this day, there are still people who will tell you it's kind of ugly. I like it. It's top 10 for me, but I can understand why other people don't. All right, at number nine, and I'm going to show you guys both because they're both behind me. So these are the Adidas and the Reebok Authentic of what essentially is the same jersey. And... Um, the Reebok one I do prefer. I technically have the Reebok one listed as part of the countdown. I do not have the Adidas one listed as part of the countdown. But that being said, they're both pretty sharp jerseys. All right, I just had to correct for glare. There's way too much coming from the window. Um, so yeah, Reebok Authentic here. So a nice, thick jersey, lasts forever, and an Adidas here. You'll notice the difference with the neckline. One says Victory Green, the other one says Stars. They're both really, really nice jerseys. Um, and and so they both get number nine on the countdown. The authentic I got through Full Moon jerseys, and this one I got through Ben H Sports. They're virtually identical. Therefore, no different listing for the two, but they both belong on on here. They're not going into a bin somewhere. I'm not getting rid of either of them. They're both absolutely gorgeous. Number eight. This is another one of those ones I found it. It was a seller out of California. Saw it, grabbed it, no no regrets. Um, it's it's the purple one with the crown on it. This was the third jersey. Uh, the only the only part that I will say is weird is the gray here. That's the only part that I'll look at and say, yeah, it looks kind of weird. It's just this nice thick line of gray right here. Uh, it's oddballish, but I'll be darned. The Kings know how to make really, really nice jerseys. And they're just different enough that they all qualify for the countdown and they get pretty high scores. At number seven, I also found this one through a seller on eBay and I found it brand new. And I almost danced after making that purchase because the white shield is fantastic. And I needed the white shield because I had a black one that was all, basically this can get really ratty. Um, when you get jerseys that have this this silver fabric on them, it can it can actually start to, to come apart. And once it starts to come apart, it's screwed. So as soon as I got this, Yvonne uh, coated it, and so you scotch guard it, and it, you know it does it does make it so the logo is kind of got almost like a sticky feel to it. But you know it's not coming apart. I would rather have a jersey that that might feel a little bit different to the touch. But I know it's going to last me a long time rather than one that I go, I don't know, I'll leave it as it is. And then two years down the road, I'm like, ah, crap. Because that black one that I had with the sh with the shield I broke my heart when that one fell apart. It absolutely did. That was my absolute favorite at the time. And it, it just broke me. So I was really glad to get this as a replacement. Number six. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary Anaheim Ducks jersey. The nice thing is that the... Uh, this, 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 this shield, or not shield, see? I'm so used to saying shield because there's so many Kings jerseys. I'm not even done with the Kings jerseys yet. But this duck mask actually is 3D. It's actually, it's it's bubbly, which with most logos means it's bad. In this case, if you get it and it's bubbly, that means you got the real deal. 
So this one's really nice. I like the, the eggplant right in here. And it, it incorporates their different looks over the years into one jersey. And I think it's fantastic. They only did it for one year. I am so glad I got this. Because this is one of those jerseys that five, ten years from now, if they don't use it again, people are going to be paying four or five hundred dollars on eBay for. Um, there are some of those old jerseys that I look at and I go, "Man, I really want that." Oh, not for that price! I don't want the hell. And and I think this is going to be one of those. There are some old ones I don't have in my collection that. Uh, Tampa Bay Storm jersey is a good example of that. Ugly as hell. Nobody wanted it when it was around. Now collectors like me want it. And you're going to have to pay hundreds of dollars online to get it unless you want a Chinese knockoff. So that's where you're going to end up with these as well. Love this jersey. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I do wear it regularly. I got to admit, I wear it regularly. Even though I know if, if something happens to this, I can't replace it. I still wear it a lot because I really, really like it a lot. It's a fantastic jersey. I got this one through Ben 8 Sports, of course. Number five. Now I have two of these. I have one that's an Adidas, which is a blank, and then I have a Reebok, which has Felino 71 on the back. Uh, the Felino one, the Reebok replica that I have, is from uh, Full Moon Jerseys, and I paid more for that than I wanted to, but it was the only way to get it. And then this one, of course, I got through Ben H Sports. Again, it's a size 46, because thank God the thirds this year had logos the right size. Of course, it says, we fight, we march, inside the neckline and it is absolutely fantastic there are some who expected this to be number one there are some who are going to watch this and go wait what's going on why isn't that number one because there's four other jerseys right now that are ahead of it i'm as surprised as anybody else but we'll get to those and uh this is still this is such an absolutely fantastic amazing jersey i don't think i've worn this for a meetup either i know i'm pretty sure i've worn columbus but i didn't wear this one and It'd be hard for me to wear this to a meetup because then if it gets scuffed at all, I'm I'm just I'm gonna be heartbroken. I have to retire. So you know, there's that. Uh, this one's a large. Uh, I got this one through a seller on eBay. This is one of those ones as well that when I saw the listing, I actually had to call my wife over and go, "Is this for real? I got this for like fifty bucks." And yeah, uh huh. Um, I had been seeking this one for years, to the point where when I saw that listing, I'm like, "That has to be a fake." Nope. This is the nicest jersey Pittsburgh's ever worn. This is the most fantastically beautiful thing Pittsburgh's ever had as a jersey. And it'd look pretty nice in an Adidas, wouldn't it? But uh, sadly, they haven't used it again. It's a large because, again, when it's, a, when it's a, a jersey that I have a hard time finding, I can never find it in my size. And I give up. I go, yeah, fine, I'll swim in it. I'll swim in it. It'll, it'll be way past my, my hand. See how long this leave is? That's part of the problem. Jer clothing in general is not made for short people. It's just not a thing. It's something that my wife and I both struggle with. That's why she makes her own clothes a lot of the time. And uh, I, I'm stuck rolling up sleeves. That's why I roll up my sleeves as much as I do is because very often the sleeves are hanging off my hand and so it gets distracting. So I just roll them up at the start of any video. Um, a little bit of a trivia thing for you guys. But there you go, uh, Pittsburgh, number four. And uh, yeah, the top three are pretty darn good. Number three, yep, yeah, I know. I know, the only difference between this and the other one is it's got the shield on front in, on the front instead of the, the, the crown. Doesn't mean it's not a different jersey and that it isn't still fantastic. Uh, and this is where it gets weird. I don't cheer for the LA Kings, don't. Uh, it's very, very rare that I'm watching a game and I go, yay, the Kings won. It's just, it's one of those weird things where I love their jerseys. I wear their jerseys a lot. Don't cheer for the team, but boy, howdy, do they have some fantastic looking jerseys. And yeah, this one absolutely deserves to be number three. And I'm so happy that I found this. This again, this is one of those eBay finds. The ones up near the top of the, the charts are eBay finds. Uh, it's it's uh, a little bit worn on the sleeves in places. It's something Yvonne can fix really quick. Um, in fact, I think this was in her fix pile, and I finally just went, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just take it downstairs. We'll fix it later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, because it's not a major thing, and I don't wear this this jersey in particular very often. The ones that have uh, the this silver on it, I try not to wear them. Even though she does scotch guard them, I still, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wear it only on certain occasions. So, uh, yeah, 
This one's number three. It's a large. Because again, if you're looking for a jersey and you're a smaller person, you're in trouble. Because usually online you find large. And if you wear a 3X or a 4X, boy, are you in luck. Because on Sports K and on any, almost any jersey website, those the, the really big sizes don't sell very well. It reminds me of when I was in my early 20s and I wore a size 28 jeans. Guys don't wear a size 28 jeans, so I always got them dirt cheap. You could get a bunch of Levi's for 15 bucks each because I was a size 28. I'm not a 28 now. I'm, I'm working at getting back to similar. I don't want to be a 28 again. I was gangly skinny and I, I looked sickly all the time. So I don't want to get back to that. But uh, um, yeah, I, I, want to, I want to get that down so that I, I look even smaller. Uh, and jerseys and then these larges are going to be even more comically oversized but it's a minor problem to have right number two and ben if you watch this thank you so much and i say that from myself and from my wife because in getting this jersey in an adidas it meant that my reebok well now that was an extra and so she has the reebok and we wore them together uh in vegas which was kind of fun that we were we wore matching jerseys to a meetup and uh, that was at the uh, at the practice facility in, Ve in, in Vegas and uh, I, I love this jersey I can't say enough good things about this jersey this one's absolutely gorgeous uh, the chain stitching on the logo is fantastic uh, just everything about this jersey screams Jets it's it's just it is a, a, a wonderful wonderful shirt I love the striping. I really wish they'd had this in the 80s. If the jersey had looked like this in the 80s, uh, the Jets would have been one of my favorite teams when I was a little kid, and what jerseys teams wore made a difference. Uh, but yeah, this one's absolutely fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Can't say enough nice things about it. Uh, the Jets, this, this is it. Never stop wearing this. And apparently they've said they'll wear this a couple of times every year. Good. Never stop wearing it. Don't wear it too much. But never stop wearing it and maybe do a throwback along with chain stitching to the other logo from the 90s as well just throwing that out there's a suggestion we'll see if they do it uh, but this is number two which means what's number one all right anybody paying along paying attention at home knew what was coming at number one the replacement the glorious replacement which i'm going to add still has a tag on it yeah so from whatever store it was in all those years ago Team LA, uh, I got this one again, eBay, private seller kind of thing. And I say private seller, meaning uh, it's not like with Ben H with, with full moon jerseys. It's not a, not somebody who sells a bunch of jerseys. It's somebody who sells a whole bunch of crap. And every now and then a jersey will prop up in the middle there. And I got this. And I was, I was shocked when I was able to find it because, again, these are really hard to find in good condition. These are really hard to find in good condition without paying like three hundred plus dollars. So um, that is that is my favorite jersey ever. Yeah, and uh, the the one that I had, uh, which is all frayed here, it's still heartbreaking. It still you know brings a tear to the eye because it was my favorite jersey ever. I wore it a lot. I did so. Uh, it earned it earned the, uh, the 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 right to fray and everything because I think it just wanted to die. This one, you're not going to be so lucky. I actually, and the fact there's a tag in the back of this proves I haven't worn it yet. I've had this jersey for over six months. I have yet to put it on. Uh, Yvonne hasn't actually scotch guarded. She hasn't actually uh, done the protective stuff with this jersey. And I, it actually I had to go upstairs and get it out of her sewing room because I'm like, yeah, uh, I I'm not touching it until she's done with it. So. There you go. Uh, number one, and and it's, I don't even know if it's close, to be honest. Um, Kings, this is your best jersey in my opinion. NHL, this is the best jersey in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, I told you there was a lot of Kings in the top 20. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. We're done for another year. We'll see if I have to do this again next year. I don't really foresee that I would need to do it again next year. I think I think that's that's probably enough for, I would say, a year and a half, maybe two years, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And as I always say, I'll talk to you again soon.